Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Crystal Amber Gel Polish Kit from Born Pretty. They had reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try it and I agreed because I've had my eye on this kit. I think it's the perfect collection of jelly colours for the fall season. It comes with six different colours and I don't think I have any of the Born Pretty polishes with this new packaging. I think it's super pretty and I kind of like it more than the black bottles. I'm going to swatch all of them. I'm going to show one coat for all of them except from this one just so you can see how two coats go on and then at the end I'll show them all with two coats. The consistency of these polishes were amazing to work with. They're also really pigmented for a jelly polish so you could probably get away with one coat but I always like to do two and I felt like in this case it looked better with two. When I had first seen these polishes I told myself if I do get it I'm going to do some sort of stained glass nail design before I went to film this, I was thinking about it during the day, kind of thinking what colours I wanted to do and just kind of what design I want to go for. Then as soon as I walked into my nail room, I was like, mission abort, I'm not doing this, it's going to take forever. So I ended up going with the tortoise shell design and honestly... I don't know if I like this set or if I hate it, I'm like split in the middle. Sometimes I'll look at my hand and be like, it's giving a little something. Five minutes later I'm like, I don't think I like these very much. But I'll explain kind of more of my thoughts behind it once I'm doing the set. I'm gonna swatch the rest in silence, but if you would like these polishes, I'll have the link below in the description box. These are all the colours side by side. My favourite is probably that orange but I did put it over a black background so you could see the colours more and they seem to pop a little bit more over the black background. For this set I adhered my tips using bubblegum gel and I'm using a peel off base coat. For the tortoiseshell design I didn't know how to do it so I watched a video from Nails by Katie Dutra. She had a really nice one so I decided to go with her tutorial and hers was pretty simple. How she did it was she picked out a couple of colours similar to the ones that I'm using and all she pretty much used to get the effect was blooming gel which I'll show once I get to that part. But I started off by painting my nails with this orange and I also have the two browns from this kit on my palette. I added a little bit of black gel polish too and this was just to darken up some of the browns. The blooming gel that I'm using is from Macart. I've never used it before. I got it from one of the Your Nail Lab boxes and I had seen it so I said I'm going to use it and see how I like it. It's pretty good but I will say that it is on the thicker side. The way to do the tortoiseshell pattern is to put some of the brown into the wet blooming gel and you'll start to see it spreading and it will start creating that shell effect. Sometimes it would start spreading a bit too quickly and it would kind of make the brown a little bit more see-through. What I would do is go in with more of that brown to make it darker and then I would cure it right away. The brown that I used for the majority of the nails was the darker one. I think it's the CA06. And then I would go in with the lighter brown which is CA05 and then I would make lighter spots with that colour. So about this design, what does everyone think of tortoise shell nails? Like I said, I'm like split in the middle. When I first ever saw them, 
I wasn't really a fan, but I figured this kit is probably a perfect kit to do tortoiseshell nails. So I decided to just do that. But as I was doing them, I was like, I don't think they're looking right. So I was looking at Katie Dutra's nail that she did. And I was like, okay, it looks similar to what she's done. Why am I not feeling this? So I ended up Googling a picture of tortoise shell. And I actually have tortoise shell glasses, but they're pretty muted. They're toned down and the design is not so crazy. So I ended up looking up a picture on Google and I used like a phone case as my inspiration. I'll put the picture up. So I was like, it's looking like the phone case. So I must be doing the design right. It just must be me that's not feeling it. Once I had painted the design on all the nails, I was like, this is kind of giving me giraffe print or like a leopard or a cheetah. So I was like, I might have to add something just to see if it makes it more tortoiseshell e. And I'll show you what I did in about a minute or so. But honestly, what I think I did, I don't think I made any difference whatsoever. This is how it looks once I completed the design on all of the nails. I noticed that they were quite bulky and because I am working with square nails, I didn't want any bulk at all. So I ended up filing the sides of them. I wanted to tone down some of that orange. So I initially went in with the CA05, the lighter brown, and then I realized it was too dark. So I ended up going in with the CA04 and it made it the perfect color. I didn't really mind the gold flakes. It was more the fact that there was actual glitter in it and it was silver. And I think that's kind of what killed the set. I don't know, I'm really undecided on this set. Let me know what you guys think. Would you have left it or would you have gone over it with the CA04 or would you have just not done this design period? <laughs> Let me know. What I was just doing there was I was moving the gold flakes out of the brown splotches because I felt like it made it look weird. So I was moving them into the lighter parts of the nail. Once I'd cured that CA04, I went in with my top coat. I didn't show my nails for very long at the end because I realized that they were quite bulky, but this is how they turned out. Let me know what you guys think. And if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.